Hello, unique device. It's your girl, unique Nello. You all are welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's story, I'll be teaching you this spiral twist turban. Some of my subscribers, I won't say one because there are more than one people that sent this design to me. They were like, please, mama, can you teach us this? And I said, guys, I won't dwell on this. So without taking much of your time, I'll be teaching you this design. Yes, but please, I don't really have enough material to teach. But I said, instead of dwelling on this, let me make do with what I have. So guys, without taking more of your time, let's move straight to the tutorial. So guys, I'll be using raw silk fabric, one yard of raw silk fabric for this tutorial. But mind you, you can use any stretchy material. This is the V-Face. I won't be teaching these designs already on my channel. All right, so what I'm holding now is for the design. This is 30 inches length by 23 inches width. Please pay attention to this tutorial. It's very easy. But if you don't pay attention, you mess your work up. All right, so um, what I'm marking now is 1.5 inches. 1.5, that's the first marking I'll be doing. 1.5 five i'll mark it down okay this is just like an allowance what i'll be leaving for the fabric before inserting the foam and the foam i'll be using here is one inch foam but guys something happened here i bought this foam thinking it's one inch foam but <laughs> i noticed that it's not enough to one inch i said ah nothing can stop us from learning this design no that will make use of this foam but why using yours please get one inch foam one inch okay but here you can see what i have here but i said ah this tutorial must go on so the length of this foam is 29 inches length by 1.5 inches width i cut out four pieces so guys have marked out on the right side so i'll be turning the wrong side that is the back of the fabric where the where we insert the foam so watch and see how i put this foam in guys this tutorial is an easy one but if you don't pay attention, don't not say I don't want you. If you don't pay attention, you got so rubbish. Please, I want you to get this design. That's why I'm just taking my time to teach it. If you watch closely, you'll see where I'm using pin to hold down. I'm pinning on top of that line. That place, I marked 1.5 inches. That's why I'm pinning down. And that is where I will sew. When I get to my sewing machine, I will sew exactly on top of that line. But I'm using this pin as a guide. So for beginners, if you know you're not really too good with sewing, do what I'm just doing, okay? It's not about how professional you are. It's about how your work looks good. I'm telling you the truth. So guys, um, just use your pin and sew on top of this line. Go to your sewing machine and sew it down, okay? Please, don't mess your work up. Sew on top of the line. While sewing, you remove your pin. Once you get close to the pin, you remove it. All right, this is the outcome of mine. And you can see that allowance, that 1.5 inches, okay? All right, so the next step is to mark out half inch, half inch. But make sure you place it on top of that, that line, that place you see with your sewing machine. Make sure you see, watch closely and see it. This is half, half, not one inch. So I'm placing it on top of that line. That place I just sewed down. And I'm marking out half inch. So this is just like the sewing allowance that will go between the foam. Because I'll be putting another foam now. Okay? So guys, after marking it down, I had to take this second foam. I've inserted the first one. I'll be taking this second foam and I'll be wrapping it round. Just watch and see what I'll be doing now. Just inside this foam. And while doing that, give just small allowance on top. Okay? Just small allowance. And drag. Drag. Try to um, tighten your hand while sewing. So that the foam will come out well. So it's be fluffy to come out well. Okay? So I'll be using my pin to hold down that spot again as usual. Guys, this is the procedure you are going to go through until you exhaust your foam. I cut out four pieces of foam. But guys, I just have to do it four pieces because I don't want mine to be too much. I don't really want mine to be too big. Just in like that picture, okay? If you want yours to be big, you can cut out up to six or seven foam. I would advise highest seven, highest at most seven. But as for me, I'm just using four, okay? You can use five foam. You can use six. You can use seven. 
Something happened there. If you watch closely, you will see that I'm removing the stitches. <laughs> oh, God. This allowance, this point, it, <laughs> when I was sewing, it just entered into the other um, plate. That part, that part, I put foam. Guys, I said, oh, God, I didn't even know. So let me show you guys so, so you won't fall a victim. So I had to loosen it out and bring out that one inch allowance again. And I now remove those stitches. So I will resew. I will sew it again. So guys, why I had to show you this part, show you this part is so you won't mess up the way I did. I'm not God though. At times I make mistakes. I will be sincere. So I had to stitch it down again. And this is the right side. You can see the way it looks. Now see that point. I had to hold down with pink. You can see that everything... Had to, in fact, the pleat, the 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 allowance had to respect itself because I used pin to hold it down. So I expect you to do same. So next thing I'll be doing again is to take my measuring tape and I'll mark out half inch. After marking out half inch, I'll be starting the third foam as usual. Then starting the third foam, I'll be sewing it down. Just the normal process. So guys, if you cut out up to five foams of six or seven make sure you add more to your width don't know if you get me you know my width here is 23 inches so if you increase your foam increase your fabric don't go and stop where i stop too all right so um what what next i'll be doing now is to is to remove the pins after removing this pin i had to close it up so you see the outcome of the whole thing you can see i use just four but you can use five six seven so next step now is to close it up guys if you want yours to be long i've said it earlier if you want it to be martial as in big you can use extra foam but i just used only four here i don't know if you get me mine is 23 inches you can increase yours to up to 30 inches your width can be up to 30 inches for the fact you want to use more foam so i'll be holding this part down and i will sew it down with my sewing machine and after sewing then i have to cut out the excess part then after doing that you'll be hiding that part this way you can see the way it is hide this part down this way and sew with your sewing machine this point i'm showing you now i will sew it down and that's it guys you can see this design mm. This trendy design, God. I don't know. My WhatsApp group was like popping up. I said, what is happening? What is happening? Let me teach you guys. Guys, if you're enjoying this tutorial, please like, like, like. Please just press that like button, okay? Ginger, your girl. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask, okay? And if you want to join our group, the link is on the description box. You can join the WhatsApp group, all right? So I've just sewed down the just one side of it, and I've given it to someone. That person will be holding this side that I tacked down. This particular part that I tacked down now, that's where the person is holding. Then just roll it around. See, it's a bit difficult. reason why I say it's a bit difficult for the design to show here is because I used just four foam okay if you want yours to be fluffy let the design be hidden you can use from five six or seven in fact if you use seven inches man you will see that the 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 lines will not even be showing that side i that line where i saw will not even be showing so the more the foam the more the design will come out don't if you get me all right so i'll now be rolling it out that is where that spiral twist shows, guys. Ah, I love this design, you know. I saw it. I said, what is happening? I must teach my people. I must teach my people. Guys, like now. Like this tutorial, please. Please. Ah, ah. Ginger your babe. Ginger your girl. Just want you to like, okay? It will give me morale to teach more. So what I'm doing now is just to measure out what I'll be using to cover here. So you can also attach your handle. You can cut your fabric and attach handle at this point. But as for me, I don't really see need for that. I just measure out the fabric I'm using to cut it out. So the stretchy fat part measures 7 inches, which is the length, and my width is 6 inches. So I'll be folding that length part, which is 6 inches, and sew down. After sewing it down, guys, I have to place it this way, making the back, the wrong side to face me. And I'll go to my sewing machine and sew down so i'm done doing that and also cut out the excess part 
turn it out this way, and this is the outcome. Ta-da! Hey! Man, 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 man. Guys, don't know I'm so happy to teach this design because, ha! The way people are really, eh? <laughs> bombarding me with pictures. Mama, teach this, mama, teach this. I say, hey, wahala, wahala. Anyway, say it, or go and practice. Not after watch, you will not practice. I will not be happy. So I'm placing it on top of my dummy head and you can see the outcome. So what next you'll be doing is tack here, tack here, tack here, and tack this side and as well, tack this point. Guys, please, why tack and make it to be hidden? We are done with this tutorial. See you next time. Bye.